make sure to check out my Patreon for exclusive videos never before seen on YouTube. And don't forget to also check out the memberships on my channel page to join and gain access to perks and see videos early. Make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the bell and be notified of new videos. All the support goes to the production of the channel for better content. Now let's get into the video. Real quick shout out to all the members that are there on the screen. Go check them out. Go give them a like, subscribe, you know, show them some love and support. Also, if this video gets over 250 likes, I shall continue the series. Thank you all for the support. Let's get to 20,000 subscribers, and I will talk to you all later. We last kicked off with Son Goku and his friends defeating Majin Buu. The same events would happen, with Lord Beerus still showing up and meeting Son Goku on King Kai's planet. And of course, I do feel like the fight will be a little bit longer than the original, as this version of Goku is far more powerful than Super Saiyan 3 Goku was in the Battle of Gods movie. Even if Goku does push his Akari Super Saiyan form to the max, it would be impressive to Beerus, but of course, without Gaki, there's not much that he can really do as he can't even sense Lord Beerus. So Goku would still be knocked out the same way, it would just take multiple more blows, but Beerus was actually impressed by the Saiyan's power, he wasn't really normal. Now, he would still go to Earth, see Vegeta, be at the party. Now this time around we know that Majin Buu was the reason why he got upset, but in the Super Show, we know that Goten and Trunks, they kind of knocked the pudding out of his hand and that's how he got mad, so we're going to follow that. So he would still get upset, and he would still be on the attack. The difference here is that Vegeta and Gohan are a little bit more stronger than the original. Again, against the likes of Beerus, it does not matter either way. Now, this is where we are going to see a little bit of change, as the fact that Vegeta and Gohan would then showcase their mystic forms. Yes, I talked about it before, that in the Majin Buu Saga, the Supreme Kai took Vegeta and Gohan to go train with the Z-Sword. I still feel like the same events would happen to where they would still break it, trying to cut the most, pretty much the most durable metal in the entire universe, Ketchin, and the Elder Kai would still be released, and I feel like he would definitely unlock Gohan's potential with Vegeta and Supreme Kai vouching for him, saying that, well, he is actually pure of heart and he's done pretty well, he, they would unlock both of their potential. This is how Vegeta can catch up to Goku, and this is what he wanted, that Vegeta will do whatever he can to catch up and beat Kakarot, as he does not want to be second anymore. Now, once when we do look into Vegeta and Gohan, both in Mystic, they are a lot more powerful than the original, and they would be fighting Beerus. Now, Beerus would actually be pretty impressed, this is 2v1, that they are actually pretty powerful. They're almost as powerful as that Saiyan that he fought on King Kai. You could even argue maybe even stronger, but he would still defeat them the same way, and you could even argue that when Vegeta gets upset when he slaps Bulma, and it would impress Beerus a little bit more, but Beerus is still not really satisfied. They couldn't defeat him. Goku would still show himself, and they would still showcase the Super Saiyan God ritual by asking the dragon. Once when that's the case, I feel like Goku would still be the one to get it. So, since Goku gets it, he would unlock Super Saiyan God. Now, Super Saiyan God looks a little bit different here. It's not the one that we know. This version of Super Saiyan God is different as remember Goku's in Akari state, on top of Super Saiyan God, it's very unique looking. This version of Goku is far more powerful than the original Super Saiyan God Goku, and his fight with Beerus would be intense. Most of the same fight, you know, choreography would still happen the same, with Goku still trying to learn his power and figure it out, and he would still be battling Beerus full force and unlocking and learning more about this power. The two would be trading blows back and forth, but Beerus having the time of his life. This is fun for him. And the two would be flying all the way up into space, but Goku was starting to lose the power as his hair started flickering. Now, he wouldn't even notice it as he was in his Akari Super Saiyan state, but he absorbed some of the god power. And he would be battling Beerus still, but even with that, Beerus knows that it's over, and he lost the power. Goku's not one to give up. Goku would continue to attack Beerus with everything that he has, and Goku would surprise him with an instant transmission Kamehameha, 
and it would kind of surprise Beerus a little bit, but Beerus would be all right, as Beerus would then throw a supernova, or you can argue his fear of destruction attack, and it would hit Goku, but Goku would have that burst of power, and he would still use the God of Destruction energy once more. Now, by the way, with the God of Destruction energy, it wouldn't kill Goku, by the way. I'm just gonna let y'all know that. Goku would then burst into Super Saiyan God and completely destroy the attack. Now, Beerus was actually surprised at that power. Goku doesn't even know himself what it was, as Beerus was impressed. Beerus was openly impressed, and he would kind of threaten to destroy Earth, but then he would just destroy a little rock and pretend that he's tired, and then he would fly off. Pretty much all that would happen the same. Now, once we go into the Frieza arc, I feel like Goku and Vegeta would be taken by Whis to start training. Now, I feel like Vegeta would still go first because he got Whis to kind of, you know, soften up because of the food and everything. And most of those events would happen the same with Goku and Vegeta practicing to unlock God Key and how to harness it under Whis. Now, Beerus was actually happy that they're there because, you know, they can maybe get stronger and maybe he can have a real fight. Now, Frieza would still be revived. That would happen the same. He'll still be pieced back together and he would still train for three to four months as he knows how powerful the Saiyans are, but he knows that he thinks that with three to four months of training, he can definitely catch up and kill them. So Frieza is pretty much at the same strength that he was. Not much else would really change about that. Now, Frieza would still show up to Earth and he would still be attacking everything. Still having his thousands of soldiers, the Z fighters would go fight. Now, this is the only difference here is the fact that Gohan did not slack off training. Gohan has his mystic form that he can use. And on top of that, he never slacked off his training. He's still training on top of, of course, balancing out his real life with Fidel. Gohan here is very powerful. You can even argue with his potential, the fact that he's training harder knowing that his father's not there, plus also balancing out life, though he trains with Piccolo mainly. And Piccolo is also stronger than the original two because he's training with Gohan more. But again, so Piccolo will be able to beat up Shushimi, but that would happen the same. Now, Gohan would fight Tagoma and easily defeat him. You also have to look at the fact that the fact that when he fights Frieza, Gohan would beat up first form Frieza. Once when Frieza goes into his final form, I feel like Gohan would be able to trade blows with him for a little while, but I feel like final form Frieza is a little bit too powerful for him and Gohan would be on the losing end. Gohan at this point is probably nearing the levels of like Vegito, or you can argue even Buhan. That's not far-fetched considering Gohan's potential makes zero sense and it's completely busted. Goku and Vegeta would still arrive the exact same as before. Now, of course, Goku wants to fight Frieza first in base form, but of course, Goku here, even in Akari, is stronger than the original Goku. He would overpower Frieza without much issue. This would be when, of course, Frieza would then showcase his golden form. And this would actually surprise Goku with how powerful Frieza's gotten. But now it was Goku's turn. Goku would then showcase Super Saiyan Blue. But of course, since it's mixing with Akari, the form looks a little bit different if you ask me. And if you guys can see from the thumbnail why. Now I want you guys down in the comments below to name what this form is. It's Akari mixed with the God power of Super Saiyan Blue. What form name would that be? Post in the comments down below. Now, once when Goku begins his battle with Frieza, this is where the tide will turn very quickly. Goku here being stronger in general, not to mention on top of the Akari stacking on top of it, Goku is far stronger than Frieza here. He would easily overpower him without much issue. Now, Vegeta, he was irritated, but he knows that, you know, he, Vegeta's around Goku's power level as well, by the way. They pretty much evened each other out the same as before, because Vegeta has his own power. We'll get into that later. And the fact that, yeah, it's just not really worth it for him. So he's just gonna let Frieza die. Well, Goku here would give Frieza one shot to leave. Of course, Frieza doesn't listen. Now you could argue that Frieza would be in base form as he loses the power. He cannot hold the power very well. So you could argue that Frieza at that point in time would try to blow up the planet. Even if so, or if not, Frieza would still die either way. Yes, Frieza has no chance of beating him. Now that Frieza's gone, most of the events would happen the same all the way up until the Universe 6 versus Universe 7 arc. That would happen the exact same, where you would have Goku fighting the other Universe 6 fighters. I do still feel like Goku would still fight the likes of Frost and, and of course, uh, Botamo, and he would get drugged the exact same, knocked out. That whole scene would happen. Frost is evil, and then he would still get defeated. That would happen the same. Let's go to the fun part. 
Let's go to when Vegeta fights the likes of Megeta and Kaba. Pretty much it would happen the same. Vegeta would just turn Super Saiyan and beat Megeta. Vegeta would then showcase, you know, Mystic and beat Kaba, or he would even showcase Super Saiyan Blue and beat Kaba. That would happen the exact same. Now, once when Vegeta fights Hit, this is where the tides are going to turn a little bit. Now, the only reason why Goku did so well against Hit is because he saw his ability and saw what he could do firsthand when he went up against Vegeta. Vegeta here would then showcase a power that he's been working on. He was he had to push his swallow his pride and learn to unlock this free power called Mystic. And he also learned the power from the gods, Super Saiyan Blue. Vegeta has learned to mix these two powers together, which unlocks the full potential of Mystic and gives you the divine energy of Super Saiyan Blue. This in turn is Mystic Super Saiyan Blue, which Vegeta would then showcase. His power was insane. It was way, way, way more powerful than the original show as Mystic pushes the power to his utmost limits. Vegeta's still new to this power, but with the Mystic helping to control it, and he can also control Super Saiyan Blue energy, the fight against Hit would be very different here, with the fact that Vegeta is far more powerful, just speed alone he would be able to give Hit a run for his money. Now Hit with his abilities would be able to hold out, and you could argue that Vegeta, I feel like, would have the potential to defeat Hit in this time. Now, once Vegeta defeats Hit, Vegeta is crowned the winner, well, basically Universe 7 is, and that is when Zeno would then make his appearance. Goku would obviously befriend Zeno, and they become good friends, that would happen the exact same, and pretty much peace would be brought back as, of course, in Spirits 1. Beerus, of course, would then use the Super Dragon Balls to wish Champa his Earth back, so Champa can enjoy it. So see, Beerus is not all mean, any. Now, of course, Goku and Vegeta would then still continue their training. All that would happen the same. Now, let's look at the Goku Black Arc. The Goku Black Arc would theoretically mostly happen the same. And you could argue that Goku Black, of course, would be different because he's basically Akari Goku. You could argue that, or you could argue that when Goku Black goes to see Goku, it's a different version of Goku. But either way, either which one you want to do it, Goku Black, I feel like, would not be able to even touch the likes of Goku and Vegeta because they have other forms, such as the Mystic, and Goku has more abilities that he can use. Goku's even trying to, to touch into Kaioken, mixing that as well, which Goku didn't do in the Hit version, but he knows that he can, but it's a very small chance that he can end up dying. So, Mazamasu would still turn immortal, Trunks would still see Goku and Vegeta, and I feel like in this timeline... Trunks would ask his father for a power that can really help him. And I feel like, for fun, I feel like Vegeta would have a close connection to the Kais. I want Trunks to be able to unlock his potential here. So once when Trunks meets Elder Kai, of course Elder Kai freaks out that Trunks from a different timeline, all that craziness. Trunks would then explain everything and say, please, I need your help, I'll do anything. Can you unlock my potential? And then I can use his power to defend my timeline, I beg of you. Now, once when Vegeta puts in a good word for it, I feel like Trunks would take the time to get his potential unlocked. And remember, he stayed on the current timeline for a couple of days. Now, once when they all go back and fight Goku Black, they would probably still fuse, and then you would have a Vegito fusion for the first time. Now, once that they are fully fused, Goku and Vegeta would fuse together. It would be a very powerful fusion. It'd basically be an Akari Mystic Blue Vegito. It's insanity power. And he would easily defeat Merge Zamasu without much of an issue. Now, of course, this becomes Universal Zamasu, or, you know, Infinite Zamasu, if you will. Goku would still get the Zeno button. As you remember, he still befriended Zeno. So, Zeno would still destroy Trunks' timeline. That would happen the exact same. And Trunks would just go to a copycat version of the timeline and go there. A duplicate version, if you will. Now, once the Goku Black Arc is over, now we're going to start looking into the Tournament of Power and jumping into there. There was a couple of side arcs, but we're just going to ignore those. But yes, after the Goku Black Arc, we're going to start touching into the Universal Survival Arc, so we're going to start looking into the Tournament of Power. Now, the Tournament of Power is going to be very interesting. Goku would still have the little exhibition matches first to where he would fight the Foxes, and of course, he would also fight Topo. Now, during this fight with Topo, even going as Akari Blue, he would overpower Topo pretty easily. 
Now, Topa would, and pretty much all the universes hate Goku because he's the one who gave us another idea in the first place. The Tournament of Power would be very different. Why? Because you have the likes of, of course, Gohan is way more powerful, Piccolo is way more powerful, Vegeta is way more powerful, Goku is way more powerful. I feel like Goku would also still get Frieza. That wouldn't really change. So Frieza would still be at the same kind of power that he was in the Tournament of Power, but he's still really powerful. Now, once when Goku fights Jiren for the first time, I feel like Goku would definitely give Jiren a bit more of a run for his money when they first fight. But other than that, realistically, Jiren is still, I would believe, still more powerful than Goku. And now, once when Goku tries the Spirit Bomb and throws it at Jiren, this is where some things are going to change here. Would Goku still be able to unlock Ultra Instinct? And the reasoning for this is because since he's constantly in Akari, his mind is a bit more primalistic. He's a bit more wild. He's not as calm. And Ultra Instinct is all about that. So that wouldn't really fit Goku's style. But at the same time, Goku's been living with it his entire life. So I feel like with his entire life, he would be able to learn to be as calm as he was in base form at this point. So Goku would actually still unlock Ultra Instinct. I guess you could say he's in a Kari Ultra Instinct. So he's you know even stronger than he was before. This version of Goku is far more powerful than he was before. He would actually damage Jiren pretty good and give him a run for his money and overpower him, but the power would only last a very short while. He would still fight Kale and Khalifa. They would still fuse into Kefla. Notice that would happen the same. I feel like during this time though, Goku would be able to trade blows with them for a while because he's stronger, but they would overpower him as he has little to no energy. Gohan would be the one to actually jump in and fight Kefla for his father. Now, Gohan here has been training even more harder since the Universe 6 Rival arc, since he saw everything. Gohan, at this point, is, I wouldn't say he's at the levels of his father and Vegeta, but he's right there with them. Especially since he also has Mystic as well, he can push his power even more. So, Gohan is right there with his father and everybody else. He would overpower Kefla and defeat them. Now, of course, Hit would still fight Jiren and lose. Most of the events will happen the same. Vegeta will still fight God Destruction Topo alongside Android 17 and the others. Frieza will still get annihilated by Topo and will be fighting Dispo. Gohan would also defeat Dispo pretty easily. Might not even need the help of Frieza at all, honestly. Android 17 is still the champ, so, eh, you know, all that would pretty much happen the same. By the way, for Android 18 and Android 17, if we remember last time with the androids, is that the androids are still alive. Remember, Bulma still kept them alive, and she reprogrammed them to not go kill Goku or destroy everybody else. She also removed the bomb from their chest. So, realistically, Android 18 Android 17 are more peaceful, and they're pretty much the same as they are. Uh, Android 16 was asked to join, but he didn't want to, as he feels like that's not his place, and he wants to be on Earth to protect it. Now, Android 18 would still be married to Krillin. Android 17 would still be doing his patrolling job around the planet where he would protect the animals and such. So Android 17 is still the MVP that we all know and love with Android 18 too. Now, both of them would still be fighting. All that would happen the same. Pretty much the end result is Vegeta would then push his power even further. He would push Mystic and Super Saiyan Blue mainly even further, reaching Mystic Blue Evolution. At this point in time, even with that power, he would easily be able to defeat God of Destruction Topo. He, he might not even need to result to sacrificing himself as he did before to overpower Topo's full power Akai attack, as he's far more powerful. Now, when they all gang up on Jiren, they would actually start to give a bit of a run for his money. Jiren would then showcase his full power and overpower them. Goku would then activate Ultra Instinct once more. Now, this time around, he's a lot more powerful here. So Goku here, I feel like he would overpower Jiren and they would fall out of the ring together. Now, the last people who were left were Vegeta, Frieza, Android 17, and even Gohan was left there too. Now, if that's the case, they would probably ask the team leader, Gohan. Now, Gohan would still wish for all the universes to be brought back, as that's pretty much the wish that was going to be made anyway, and they would all be happy and do so. Now, we are going to cut into the Broly movie and the other three arcs, but we will do that on the next one. And that is it for this What If You Guys. Thank y'all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's get this video to 250 likes. If it does, I shall continue this series. And that is it. Thank you all, and I'll talk to you all later.